Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 introduction videos. This video is about checking an analysis model. You will check model properties and dimensions, element connectivity, and element quality. Open the HyperMesh file for breakout, A. Let us start with the functionality of the measure tool, which offers measuring area, volume, mass, center of gravity and moment of inertia. The other functionality of the measure tool allows to measure distance, angle and radii. Click on two locations to measure a distance. Click on the measure to see its components. Right click to copy the measured values. Start from a location that is already part of a measure to place a third node, which adds measurement of angle and radii. Let us move to validating the model. The model check tools guide bar allows to select portions or the full model to check. While this tool will subsequently open the model checker tab, you can also open it directly to see and select the checks you want to perform. Use the right click menu to list all checks that are available sorted into the categories error, warning, and info. Unfold the category, error, to see the list of all available respective checks. To search and run only individual, dedicated checks, you may use the filter. Like this you may find the checks for duplicate elements. Or for free 1D nodes or elements. To run all available checks, click on the Run Checks button. Failing checks are reported in the browser. For some checks, use the right-click menu to review and edit the reported entities. Like here for duplicate elements. For other checks, the entities are listed for direct review and edit through the Entity Editor. Like here for a property with missing material, or a material without Young's modulus. For the free 1D nodes check, use the review option to identify them. Finally note that you can run individual checks by selecting them and choosing Run from the right-click menu. Let us move to other model validation checks. The Edges tool identifies free edges of 1D elements. While such free edges are expected for free boundaries of shell meshes, you may use it to identify unwanted disconnected nodes or edges in meshes. The Equivalence tool allows to identify where multiple nodes are located within a defined tolerance. Use the arrows in the guide bar to move one by one through the identifies patches of nodes that were identified by the tool. Hit equivalence to merge those nodes to connect disconnected elements. Here, apply the check again with a higher tolerance and identify another gap in the shell mesh. The replace tool allows you to stitch such gaps. Either merge one node with another, or select two paths of opposing nodes to merge one set of nodes with the other. As last part of this video, let us move to checking and editing element quality. The element quality color mode displays the result of the available quality checks color coded on the elements. Use Edit Criteria from the right-click menu to define the target element size and the fail threshold values per quality criterion. Then click on a criterion in the legend to show the detailed result for this one. This will isolate elements which fail the criterion with their number shown in the legend footer. Right-click on the legend to save these elements for possible subsequent selection and treatment. Click on the criterion name in the legend header to return to the main view and allow for selection of another criterion for detail check. Use Move from Edit Elements to interactively move node positions by dragging them. Double-click a node to position it automatically for improved quality of the attached elements. 
double-click an element to improve all its nodes' positions. You may also drag one tree element onto another one to locally remesh and combine them to a quad element. This concludes the breakout video about model checks. Consider following further videos from our YouTube channel or visit learn.altair.com to choose from our broad offering of online classes and e-learning. Thanks for watching.